Are your workouts increasing the chances of injuries? Are your breasts reducing the time you can exercise? Carrying a wallet can be detrimental to your health. Which is healthier, restaurants or fast food? Quite shocking. This is fitness and nutrition news. Let's go. Wow. Oh, my name is Philip. I'm a personal trainer and group exercise instructor, and I welcome you to Pale Exercise and Fitness and Nutrition News. Fitness and Nutrition News covers four topics that we believe can affect your life in one way or another. Four topics in under five minutes. Timer up. Let's go. Woo. Do you do HIIT workouts? Research has shown HIIT workouts are increasing injuries. Why would anyone want to do that? HIIT workouts have been gaining popularity as they're effective and time efficient. You hit yourself to work out? HIIT workouts have been effective at improving cardiovascular fitness, boosting energy, promoting lean muscle mass, along with fat loss. Yet, it doesn't seem safe. Also increases injury. According to this research, do you believe it? Folks, my career is personal training and group exercise, so I'm a little biased. What's your opinion? I truly believe this research because you hit yourself. <laughs> no, and yes, kinda. What? Hit workouts are hard when you do them properly. You wind up like this. <laughs> According to the scale of the rating of perceived exertion, a proper hit- Hey Philip, front hand or back hand? <laughs> a proper hit is 7 or higher. The max is 10. When you go hard, form can fade, and many hit classes involve jumping, which this study showed increases knee injuries. Uh, fun? No. Also, the American Council on Exercise recommends only doing two to three HIIT workouts a week, along with giving 48 hours off in between. Hey, Philip, you're not biased on this topic, are you? <laughs> I only teach one HIIT class a week. Oh. Next topic, are your breasts impacting your workout? Not yours, Philip. <laughs> this study put women in four breast size groups. Small, medium, large, and hypertrophic. All were asked to talk about their participation in physical activity and asked to agree or disagree if their breast size affected their activity. Results showed participants with hypertrophic and large breasts participated in less vigorous intensity physical activity and less total activity compared to their counterparts with small small breasts. Wow. A UK survey showed 72% of women who participated in the survey experienced some chest issues while exercising. Stop exercising, duh. Or you can participate in less impactful activities like swimming and walking. Or better yet, find a well-fitting and supportive sports bra. When searching for a sports bra, think about what activities you will be participating in. Sports bras are based on low, medium, and high impact activities. A yoga bra is not doing to support you like a bra that is meant for running. Cute revealing bras offer less support. Underwire and padding do not prevent bounce. Also, make sure your bra breathes. It's not breathing. No one likes sweaty breasts. Ew so uncomfortable. Lastly, if you have small breasts, take a minute to appreciate them. In 2018, six most popular plastic surgery was breast reduction. Ironically, it was the number fifth most expensive plastic surgery. Also, one study showed smaller breasted women have faster marathon times. The grass is not always greener on the other side. And the big ones? they bounce more. Next topic, is fast food healthier than restaurants? Recent research coming from the UK shows that restaurant dishes contain more calories than fast food meals. Researchers looked at more than 13,500 meals on the menus of 21 sit-down restaurants and six fast food chains. Full service restaurants had 268 calories more energy than did meals from fast food restaurants on average. That's like nothing. No, yet full service restaurants were approximately five times more likely to offer meals of a thousand calories or more than fast food restaurants. All the meals that they had nutritional value for came out to 13,396. The average energy content per meal was 977 calories. If you're not eating at home, wake up and realize that most of the meals are high in calories, even if you think you are eating healthy. This study is important as several studies suggest that people who eat out of home 
more often are at increased risk of weight gain or obesity. Ironically, fast food chains have received the most scrutiny for providing poor nutritional value. And this study shows some insight on how they have potentially made changes and potentially the full service industry hasn't felt this pressure. And that's why their calorie counts are absolutely ridiculous. You should check us out on Instagram, Pale Exercise, and see if the results stand up to sit down restaurants here in the US. Last topic. Do you carry a wallet? OMG, it's missing. Where you place your wallet in your pockets could mess up your body and cause a needed pain. How dare you? If you carry your wallet in your back pocket, it can pinch your sciatic nerve and cause sciatica. What's that? Woo, not fun. Sciatica is leg pain caused by pinched nerve in the lower back. The sciatic nerve runs the length of each leg from the buttocks down to the foot. One therapist said some people liken it to the nerve pain you experience if you have a toothache. Putting a wallet in your back pocket tilts your pelvis to one side, which puts more stress on the spine. View it as walking with one shoe on. It throws off your alignment. Get a purse. This shift in imbalance can cause all sorts of issues, like temporary pain, degeneration, agitation of the sciatica. Front pocket, easy fix. Actually, the front pocket can cause a pinch between thigh and torso, resulting in different aches and pains. Fanny pack. No. Give it away. That's my wallet. And that's all we have for you. <gasps> Look at that time. Over time. Not me, Phila. You should check out the research we had to smush into this video. Smush like in taco smush or like a sandwich smush. Yeah, we smushed a lot. Shares and likes are appreciated. We hope you learned something new and had some fun too. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Ciao. Stuck. Someone unsnapped me. Are you asking for a friend?